So now let's talk about stockbroker. We hear that term all the time, we kind of take it for granted, but years and years and years ago, the only way you could deal with the stock market is through a human being. You would have to talk to them, typically pick up a phone and call them. We now call those people full service brokers. They're still out there, but they're few and far between. Now, if you do want to go talk to a broker or call them on the phone, that's probably some kind of a discount broker. That was kind of the next hybrid of it. A discount broker doesn't charge you as much and they don't provide as many services. But what most people are dealing with today are what's called online brokers. An online broker is basically you and your computer and an 800 number. You'll call once in a while, talk to somebody, but primarily it's done on the computer. Online brokers charge very, very little because they are doing a lot of volume and all they need to make is a little tiny profit on each trade and they do just fine. Now, we have broker partners at Cool Trade where the Cool Trade software integrates directly with them. Wonderful partners. In order to trade live, you do need to use one of those brokers. So I'm not going to suggest which one to use, but check them all out and you decide. They're all fine, but they're all online brokers because we are computerized. Robotic trading, that's what it's all about. So now there's another term, stockbrokers we know, but broker dealers. It's just a little term that I want you to understand. A broker is the person or the company that we talk about, and a broker acts on your behalf. When you want to buy a stock or sell a stock, the broker is the one that helps us with that transaction. When we talk about broker dealers, a broker dealer is somebody that is executing trades for their own account. So they're trading. And I want you to think that through for a minute. If your broker is trading in the market and you're trading in the market, that means you're both kind of trading against each other. Now think about that for just a minute because you're paying them a fee, but they're trading against you. This is going to come into play because when I talk about some of the other things in a moment where we talk about showing your cards to somebody else, you don't want the other person to see what it is that you're doing. Yet your broker can see exactly what's in your account, how you trade, where you put stop losses in, or where you want to place your trade. And if they're trading against you, that can be a very tricky place to be. So I just wanted you to get a little familiar with that term, a broker-dealer. There's another term you might want to be familiar with or you've heard about. It's called REITs, R-E-I-T. It's a real estate investment trust. So a real estate investment trust is a security. It trades like an ETF. It's a security that we can buy and sell, and it has real estate as its basis. So it's everything involved with real estate, owning the property, residential, commercial, land, managing properties, and everything related to the real estate. Obviously, in real estate, there's some additional tax benefits that you have available to you. The Real Estate Investment Trust passes those benefits on to the owners of the Real Estate Investment Trust. So if you want to diversify, yet be in the stock market, and you want to get into real estate, you can do it through Real Estate Investment Trusts, R-E-I-T.